Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna explain how to create the environment for Flutter application. So I suppose that there is nothing in your computer, nothing installed in your computer. So the first thing we need to install is the JDK, which is Java Development Kit. After that Android Studio and Flutter SDK and then Git. And of course we need also some configuration. So let's start with that directly. First thing we will uh, try to install JDK from uh, Oracle or from anywhere if you already have JDK if you have used Java before for anything so I think JDK is already in your computer if not you can just install it from the Oracle website so just right here JDK download I think JDK is 18 now so here Java SE 18 so you can see here we have many of uh, like operating systems and something like that we will choose Windows X uh, 64 which is mine here installer so I need this one here so I can just here just dot exe so you can just download it from here and here we just wait to download it's only it's about um, 153 megabyte so it depend on your internet so now it has been uh, downloaded successfully so we can just open it from here download so I will just install so just open file yes just to install the Java environment and this required for many programs you need to install this so I think maybe it's already in your computer so just next uh, it will be here so yes next and close now it has been installed so now I need just to check if it is really installed in my computer so I can just go to the uh, C and uh, I should find in the program file here see yes we have Java here and inside it JDK so here's also an important step to add the uh, Java home to work with Windows so to with uh, Flutter so you can just here from here just copy this path and you need to go to the environment so go here just write uh, variable for variable environment so here edit environment variable for your account then you can just go here and add it's already automatically added like this here if it doesn't add it automatically if it you should add it by yourself just go to the new here and here just write Java home and here just paste the path but if it is automatically so that's it that's very good we finish this step and this is the first step second step here is the most important which is install the Android studio so now we can just go here to the Google and then just write and Android Studio and then we can just go here to the download so always you need to install Android Studio even if you decide uh, to use the Visual Studio code as your editor or as your IDE also you need before that to install Android Studio to, to help you install the SDK the Android SDK now I need to download Android Studio here and then if you need you can if you want just to read this like terms here and then I have read and agree and download here and also you should wait some time for that it take about uh, it's about 929 megabyte so I have already uh, downloaded here so I can just stop this and so now this is downloaded here so I can just double click here to st start install the Android Studio after downloaded here just guess next here next again so it will be here in this uh, path you can change it of course but now I need just to add it here and then install so also just wait some time to install after that we have next and then finish and here you can say uh, start Android Studio and finish here so now just uh, run Android Studio sometimes it's directly uh, go to the SDK to install SDK but uh, in my case I have already installed SDK before so just show me like this so you can just open it 
if just go to the SDK directly so just go to the SDK if not like me just go here and then go to the SDK manager because we need to install some SDKs so you can see here we have first thing SDK platforms here you need to install one of those anyone just one of them so I have installed this one for example maybe you need the last one so just click here and ok anyone but you need one of them to install I can just say apply uh, so tell me it's about uh, so it's about uh, 64 megabyte so it's not like big so you can just say ok and just wait this to install the new computer so as I told you you need just one of them so now done has been installed so just finish here now we can go to the SDK tools here also we have many things here is very important first thing not forget that you can like take picture and then you can make it by yourself so the first thing we need this one Android SDK it's already installed in my case Android SDK command line installed already so anything with that like uh, this mark here so you need it so you need just to check all those that we need and just apply and ok and it will install it if, if this is the first time you install the android studio so it will be directly just say next next and that's it you don't need to even do that but in this case you can just go here and you can install it by yourself and then ok and finish install that after that you need to install also go to the plug in here I mean you can close that and open Android Studio again just say Android Studio here and open it and we need to go to the plugin so here we have plugin from here or from anywhere and just right here flutter it's also very important to install the flutter so you can go here to the marketplace and flutter and then install flutter and will install the flutter and dart so you can create a flutter application then restart the IDE and just restart now it will work you can see after open you can see now we have a new flutter project so we can create a new flutter project but we cannot do anything without flutter SDK so now we have finished JDK Android studio with SDK Android SDK now we need flutter SDK so also you can just go return back to the Google and just say flutter and then we can just go to the flutter here anywhere actually just go to the get started then we have Windows for example so go to the Windows here before that you can just install get for Windows I have told you that here we need get also so we can also install get before it's recommended by the uh, by the flutter so you can just go here and install git I have windows 64-bit uh, so just install it from here so it's not take any time 47 megabyte that's it just open yes and here install and just wait for seconds for that now just finish and just say finish and that's it so we don't need to do anything we need only to install this then we can just return back again to the flutter and just go here to flutter windows to install the sdk it will be like a, a zip file here so we need also to wait about 900 megabyte so I need to wait for that but I have already downloaded in my computer so I don't need to wait uh, it's nothing difficult actually just a file the, in the package and you can just uh, unzip this file and that's it anywhere in E drive in D drive as you like so I will show you I have it already here I just download it and unzip it in the in my case in D I think uh, no in my case here in E so I just download it and unzip it will be like this file the important thing also you need to do is go to this flutter after unzip it and just uh, add it here in E or D anywhere you can go here and go to the bin and also you need to copy and paste copy here this path and you need also to go like Java home you need to go to the environment variable environment edit the system environment variable so go here and then also environment and then go to the path here in the system environment and edit the path 
and we need just to add a new one add the spot so now you can use a flutter command because in the flutter you can use a command line so now after this step here you can use the flutter command line anywhere in your computer so now okay and okay okay finish everything now we need just to check a flutter if it is working or not you can open actually visual studio code or anywhere for example cmd anywhere you can just open the cmd and it should work now so you can say just to flutter like virgin so to check the virgin of the flutter so now it's working the flutter i have flutter virgin 3.3.0 so that's it now it is working without any problem so now you can create we finish everything actually we can just create your first project so you can open just android studio and from here a new flutter project that's it you can here flutter sdk it's also important i have installed the flutter sdk in e drive i told you that and flutter so you need just to mention that the flutter sdk here so an e drive and the flutter so just from here and you can mention the flutter that's it and then next you can add any name for your project like test up for example and then finish now it will create a flutter project automatically so it will work without any problem here now the next step here is we need also to install the emulator to try to test the android so you can just go here this way and here create virtual device that's it so now from here you need also to find anything from here for example any mobile i need this one for example then next here you need to download one of those ipis so for example i need this one can download it so it will about 1.4 gigabytes so 1 gigabyte and 400 megabyte so you need uh, a good internet connection here in order to work so you need just to wait for that so now done here finish so just uh, click finish of course after some time you need uh, to wait for that so finish so now I have the emulator the first one then next and here finish so now here as you can see we have emulator and we can just uh, run here click here run i need to close this now and just waiting for emulator to run as you can see we have like emulator now here it's running without any problem of course you can add any emulator and here the flutter application just by default after you create your first flutter application it will be like this you need just to run the emulator and then click here to run your project and it will work without any problem because it's default application just a counter application and of course we will explain that and we will create something like that so at the first time you run your application your first application it will take a long time maybe 10 minutes maybe 15 minutes maybe more than less than so you should wait for that because uh, android studio will install the gradle and like uh, some libraries so you need to wait for that uh, so now as you can see something like that so we can just click here to add it and so on. but I will show you how to work also with uh, here visual studio code so we can after finish everything you can also install the visual studio code or and and of course you know how to install it just go to the internet and you can find visual studio code download it and that's it and here you can just go to add flutter extension just go here to extensions and you need flutter extension just to click here and install flutter extension and dart will be also you can say dart and or i think it's already exist here you can also install dart now to create an application by terminal you can just open the terminal from here or anywhere just open the terminal and you can go for example to the e drive as you like and just write the command here flutter before you create an application you can just say flutter doctor so you can see it's like check the flutter is everything is working or not so here you can see we have like some problems so first problem is what uh, chrome developer for web cannot find chrome executable uh, so this for web 
also visual studio this for uh, desktop so we don't need this for desktop visual studio but for this yes i don't have a chrome so also there's no problem with that but everything is working now we have android we have connected device http host available available for the web so everything is working so we don't have any problem so i need just to check that again cls so i delete everything here uh, file a new application so i say flutter I create you can say if you are online so you can say offline if you are offline without internet so you can say offline and then the name of the application so for example test any name of course and just enter so it will create a new file for you new application now this has been created so you can just go to the file and open folder we have created an e drive you know here an e drive so you can joke here name it app flutter test so select folder that's it now it is working here so you can use use it here and work with the flutter with the visual studio code and it will work also without any problem uh, so here also we need the emulator to run it in the mobile so you need also to open android studio and emulator or you can run it on the web same thing so i can go to the terminal and say here flutter devices so i will check what the devices that connected so you can see edge so i have the uh, browser here uh, the microsoft edge if you have a chrome for your firefox you will find it but now we have edge so i can say just flutter run uh, like this d and then edge because i have edge here so you can just use edge enter now it will run as a web application actually same thing in the mobile or in the web no problem so if you you cannot work with the emulator because your computer is not good like uh, your ram is like uh, not enough so you can just uh, using the web also it will work in the same way without any problem yes now it is run in the uh, edge if you have a chrome if you have anything same thing it will work in the same way so as you can see now we can just make it like a mobile and it will work so that's everything for now hope you understand that and thank you very much